Christmas time once again. Here we are at the Old South. Headed off. Travel day for me and the Miss Claus. Are you ready, Dina? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas. We got a long flight today. Where are we headed? We are headed across the pond yeah. to Dubai. Headed into DFW Airport so we can catch that big bird to leave the Metroplex area. We got a temporary show for Randall. Bye. Merry Christmas. And Bebo's in the back. We've got three hotel reservations. <laughs> I never check my underwater equipment, but this time they don't let us carry it on the plane, so we have to check it. Little apprehensive and nervous about that. Thank you, sir. Hi, how are you? And who's the, you're the card holder? Yes. Okay, then there's almost no more questions. <laughs> <laughs> almost? It's been a long day, you ready to go home? No, I got a couple hours to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, bless that's you, baby. Okay. I'm yeah. with everybody here. So. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. You Good have a place. nice one, okay? Thank you. Bye bye. Everything's so festive with the Christmas tree. It's beautiful. We're going to be flying at night. It'll be beautiful taking off. Look at one on the ballet. Hi, how are you? Merry Christmas. Hi. We'll find you as the Santa, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're the working elves. Oh, yeah. We're headed to the South Pole. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Bye, take care. Thanks. Enjoy, enjoy. Bye. Thank you. Woohoo! Merry Christmas! Welcome to Hawaii. Where's that Captain Bagwood at? I didn't see him on that plane. <laughs> Nobody's on the tram but us. Pretty empty. Wow. What do you think, Mama? I think it's a rather lavish airport. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, Chad, you said I can get some good cigars. Let's see what we got. He said you can get a box in here, so. How are you? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Our boarding passes as well, sir. Pull the boarding pass out there. Where are you going to? Oh, I think I'm going to head on over to the Maldives. <laughs> Come on with me, Beaver. I got a seat reserved for you. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. In Dubai, fixing to leave for our final destination, the Maldives. We're gonna overnight here before we get on the yacht in the morning. So this is one of the smallest elevators I think I've ever been in. This thing is tiny. Take you up and show you the room. Uh, nothing too fancy, but pretty uh, pretty convenient. But this is our room right here, number 302. And kind of kind of small. We've got it kind of tore up. Right now everything's kind of packed up, semi-packed. There's our dive gear little bathroom it's been it's clean good shower everything looks all right the best part about it i guess is the tropical view it's, it's not not a not a real big patio but 
kind of gives you a, a look at the downtown area here in Mali. We're actually across the bridge to get over to this little island. When you fly in, you fly in, and the airport is on a separate island, but uh, this is all still considered Mali. This is actually, what's the name of this little island? It's Mali's Moho Mali. Yeah, it's a little adjacent island. Morning. <laughs> The Alan waking up as usual. Everyone taking pictures. Well, you know, deeper doing this thing. It's a beautiful street with all the mopeds aligned. 7.30 in the morning on a Sunday, and this place is hustling and bustling. They're probably all headed to work. You can tell we're close to India. Look at all the motorbikes. They just keep coming. You know it's early, the roosters are still up. Let me hear you, roosters. <laughs> Tanya and I are out this morning early, walking up and down the streets of Huhamali. The area looks kind of rough in some areas, a lot of construction. Then you get all these little mom and pop, pop-up hotels like this one here. It's really pretty, it's kind of deceiving, because from the outside, it looks a little run down on some of them, and then you walk in, and it's, uh, actually pretty nice on the inside got a little sitting area in here a little courtyard and then that's the staircase leading up to the hotel you got the elevators there yeah some of it's just a little deceiving there's definitely some money down here too you see lots of mercedes and bmws there's a audi right there and pan over here this is a newer Cadillac right here. Tanya went in there into the uh, dentist office. I went to pull out my dental floss last night and I was at the end of the string. This is a small local park. They got beach volleyball and a skate park. Really cool. Maybe it's a whale. It's a tail. This and a the tail. skateboard park is a whale. Look at that. <laughs> Great observation, Randall. I'm going to get on the dorsal field. It's a well shark. Look, kids are playing soccer. And look at that. I've tried to get them to wave, but they're really wild. They just kind of give me the peace sign. <laughs> Today is aboard the aggressor day in December 26th. And our morning has begun around 6 a.m. with coffee and a little preparation. Get us going. So we're here at the hotel. It's, we're going to be getting on the aggressor today, and Mark here from the UK just got off the same boat that we're on. Tell us about it. It was incredible. Every day was better than the next. Um, massive rays. Uh, we saw a whale shark came up to the back. Two whale sharks came to the cool. back of the boat. You could jump in, and like I said, the, the, the whale shark swam around the boat. It got so close, I had to lift my fins up, otherwise I'd have scraped it. Wow. Uh, visibility in places was a little poor, but on the whole, it was pretty, pretty good. Yeah. We, we saw absolutely everything and anything. Loads of reef sharks, black tip reef shark, loads of octopus, uh, cuttle, big cuttlefish. Uh, what else did we see? Batfish were about this big. Oh, Every, everything was, was just, I mean, the eels. Uh, huge. Uh, the food is just it's a it's uh, good. unbelievable. You're getting four courses every meal, three times a day, and then in between, there's just snacks everywhere. It's sandwiches. Or sandwiches, pizza. pizza. If you come back from a diet that has some either some warm spring rolls, oh, wow. some pizza bread, <laughs> or some oh, pizza. Yeah, you got you guys are gonna have to work out when you get back to the, <laughs> back in the gym and don't burn them calories for sure. Oh, and oh, a great dream. So outside. not a disappointment. Um, um, I, to be fair, if, if I if I could, there was a space I'd be coming back with you coming guys. Coming back, yeah. being in yeah. another second we, week. We go the second trip together. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we are in the Maldives. Mark just got off the aggressor. So yeah, excited well, to have us to be on board here in just a few hours. Appreciate the update, Mark. Sounds like a wonderful trip. Be safe traveling back to the UK. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you guys. You ready, babe? Where are you headed? For the yacht. We're headed to the yacht. About a 15 minute boat ride. Thank you. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all. Thank you. Have a good day. And this gentleman is going to take us to the airport.
So this lovely couple here is from New Delhi. They got the tripod set up. This is a popular place over here. They got the sign. Look at them. They've done this before, I think. <laughs> Welcome to Maldives. <laughs> um, which hotel will you be staying at? We're on a liveaboard. board. Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. Is this, which one's my number? The service number is your number. Uh, we should be here somewhere. Perfect. I need to have a walk. If you want to turn back to the Donny later on to fix your equipment, it's up to you, but this is what we are usually doing. Yes. Yeah. Right, right now, on the way okay. up. So right now, let's go to the dock. Here comes our dinghy. Watch it, buddy. Where are you going? planes coming in and out lots of boats you can see the boat out here everybody gets around from island resort to island resort either on a little seaplane or the boats shuttle back and forth there's one of the seaplanes coming in right now see if i can zoom in on it they are everywhere out here we were en route to the maldives aggressor 2 and we have arrived this is the yacht that will be on for the next eight days, eat, sleep, and diving. We're excited, can't wait to get on. Permission to come aboard? Yeah, that's not my fault. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you. So we just got on board and Hussan is taking us to our room. <laughs> room 10, here we come. 10, is it a good room to say? It's just a good room. <laughs> wow, a lot bigger than any of the other ones it's, we've had, babe. It's big and it's roomy and we have a beautiful little view right there. They've already got the windows open for us. Two USB ports on both sides. You got the bed Light lights the here. Bottom, turn them up. And we got uh, power sockets, which are two thirty volt voltages. We got two water bottles for you. What you got over there? Next room, we got the closet space here, and here is the what they call the head on a ship. Plenty of room, nice and comfortable in here for your privacy. Plenty of room. Plenty of room for storing. And then over here we have a lovely shower. With the rain coming down, the shower head. Rain the shower, shower head. <laughs> and you even got a view. You even have a view. No one can see here. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is awesome. This is beautiful. It's roomy, you guys. This year, there is one. <laughs> Should I keep telling you like that the whole day? Yes, I am a, a photographer as well. Videographer. Um, and I'm the cruise director on board. Um, well, responsible about everything. And also, we are going to represent for you the crew. Uh, so each one is named, job title, doing what with us. And as well, uh, you are going like to introduce yourself to each other. So like that, you get to know each other. Yes, and the crew us get to know you as well. And then... uh, my name is Noor. I'm from France. Second time in the well. But first time in Melbourne, so we're looking forward to it. I am Sarah. I'm from the UK, near Liverpool. My name is Sri, I am from India and I've been on the Gresser maybe five or six times. The last one being in the Bahamas in June. Yes, we did the safari in Egypt 
but in October, and now we are here. We are excited. I come from Switzerland, and it's my very first time. First time in Maldives, and first time in Nagelsmann. We are here to get away from everybody. It's Lana's <laughs> 15th birthday, so we just oh, said we yeah. invite everybody. And this is our first uh, little board in person. And first Maldives. Hey, I'm Chris Goog. I'm from Fort Lauderdale. And I've been a professional underwater photographer since I was about 15 years old. Well, it's that time of the night. We just finished our dive briefings, summary of what all take place for the week, and we just had an awesome dinner. Randall's setting up his uh, camera equipment. I'm not sure, but I bet you have some more photographers with us. Look at that camera table over there. Photographer's fantasy playground. This is where everyone Basically, gets all their camera gear together each time after a dive, whether charging strobes, charging cameras, batteries, replacing all of that stuff. What you got over there, Deaver? Oh, oh, good morning from Maldives. After a great night's rest, Tanya and I are looking forward get to go down for a little continental breakfast have some coffee this morning and then we got to get geared up for our first dive of the trip <laughs> morning <laughs> yeah here we are sitting just outside of downtown Mali with a beautiful sunrise coming up over the horizon and uh, feels good to be back on the water this crew from the dive briefing last night and the and all the logistics and everything sounds like we're going to have a great trip bouncing around the Maldives. This has been a destination for Tanya and I on our bucket list for a long time and uh, it just feels wonderful to be here. Some of the dives are going to have some currents in it from what they were telling us on the brief so we're going to have to put some reef hooks on which will be something new for Tanya and I and uh, so you just kind of hook up to the reef and you sit back and chill. So welcome aboard the Maldives Aggressor 2 for day one of diving, we are ready to hit the water. Oh, everyone's so sleepy. Yeah, this is gonna go just one for one time for the trip. It might take around 20, 25 minutes. Yes, after that, we'll do the initial briefing for today's first dive, which is gonna be the check dive. Yes, so welcome to Maldives Aggressor 2. Be a responsible diver, do not throw anything overboard, please do not touch the reef for marine life. When you are diving here in Maldives, we do not touch any marine fauna, meaning we do not touch any marine life, be it a turtle, be it a fish, be it a shark. So some local laws, yes, so I know Paddy and some other diving organizations have a limit that's beyond 30 meters, but literally in Maldives, the maximum depth allowed to dive is 30 meters, which is equivalent to 100 feet. So if you go below 30 meters intentionally and stay over there, that's almost kind of breaking the law. And some days we'll be doing four dives. So in this case, we will let you know what time the night dive briefing is. Sometimes it's 5.30, sometimes it's 6 o'clock. So all your equipment always stays on the dive dhoni except for your computers or cameras. Top of camera table is reserved for only cameras. As you can see, here's one table camera on the main mothership, and then there'll be one camera on the dive dhoni. On top of this, please do not put any liquid or any other stuff because this is allocated for the cameras. These camera housings are quite expensive with domes and everything. You don't want to scratch it or get any damage done. So after the dive, you don't need to worry about your wetsuit. You can take it and put it on the bench. The staffs, they will rinse it on the fresh water bucket and they will hang the wetsuits every day. So when you're using nitrox, all the tanks with the green cap, it's nitrox, yes? So before you start the dive, you should note your nitrox percentage. You should check it when they are analyzing it. All right, getting ready to leave the mothership. All aboard. Here we are. On the Donnie, getting ready for our first dive. Ready, Hassan? That's always a great sign when you got dolphins leading you to the first dive side of the trip. Woohoo!
Ready for dive number two? Ready for dive number two. Okay, so our second dive is going to be to a place called Madi Miyaru Khammati. The objective is to see the sharks. Yes, so anything might be possible. Sharks, no mermaids, sometimes maybe tiger shark. If lucky, a hammerhead or something, spinner sharks are gonna come. Yes, they are quite big. Try not to get too intimidated. Just be calm, they are not gonna come and bite you except for someone like me. baby. Got the boat to yourself, Deaver. It's a hell of a dinghy you got here. Rocking and rolling out on the Indian Ocean. <laughs> yes, you are. I saw it. I saw the hammerhead. Once again, my name is Hassan. I'll be giving you the dive briefing. And today, our third dive briefing is to a place called Fish Tank. It's a private island where there is a fish factory. So in this fish factory, they process the canned tunas and stuff. So they get the raw fish here, they cut the fishers, and then they again throw the fish waste in front of this. Also a lot of stingrays. So the tricky thing is, these stingrays, they know the timing of this dumping. You can see something you haven't seen any other place in the world. There's our witness, more eels. You can name the species, the types, all kinds of moray eels, different sizes, different colors. So we're headed out for our third dive today. Still on day one of diving. We're moving a little bit further south. So this should be something a little different. Looking to see lots of stingrays again. Moving over by this resort. Just a little south. Ready, Deep? Ready. They're talking about being born ready to dive. Thank <laughs> you. 
new dive, headed back to the mothership. The more the more a diver. <laughs> yeah, 100. <laughs> oh, good morning from Mali. Here we are in the middle of the Indian Ocean this morning on day three on the Gresser Liverboard. Actually, going to be our second day of diving. It's um, 5:30. It's six o'clock on uh, December 28th fixing to close out the year. After dinner last night in our briefing, Captain cranked up the motors and we headed southwest of Mali. He uh, motored for about six hours last night. So yeah, it was a pleasant ride over. So this atoll, you can see a line in the middle. It's a big atoll. So the government, they divided this atoll into two parts, North Ari Atoll and South Ari Atoll. So it's easier for the governing bodies to govern the atoll. Waking up in a new position and uh, the last dive yesterday, we did a twilight dive. As most of you know, Tanya and I have been in the water quite a bit over the last couple decades. We've seen some pretty amazing things and uh, face some nice calm waters and some adversity and things you gotta overcome just part of the diving that you get acclimated to. But I can honestly say yesterday's final dive was probably easily top five. Never ever seen so many different species of moray eels. We literally saw no less than 7,500 eels on the dive and they were large. <laughs> Sometimes there was five or six and one coral head. Pretty impressive. And the stingrays just swimming around. It was like a cloud passing over the top of your head. They were everywhere. We had marble rays, southern stingrays, um, probably four or five different species. Yeah, it was definitely one for the books. And it just got me so excited about what's gonna go on below the surface today. Yeah, it's been pretty amazing. Definitely been worth the trip. If the trip was to end right now, it was worth the journey over here, all the way to the other side of the world, the middle of the Indian Ocean. Yeah, diving doesn't get any better than this. And the crew's been fabulous. The food, oh my God. You can forget about the girlish figure. It's already going away. The sodium and the calories intake is off the hook again, aggressive style. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go down and get ready for a little continental breakfast once the sun finishes rising and uh, wake up mama. We'll update you later. Ciao. This is our dive site. It's a pinnacle, it's called Maya Tila. Drop-offs and which stretches into the ocean depths at around 28, 30 meters and at some point, 20 meters as well. The interesting thing about this pinnacle is there are two separate blocks on both sides of the pinnacle. One on the east, a little bit south side. Don't go below this block because the sharks, they always stay further from the person closest to them. We stay there for like 10, 15 minutes. So once we go there, if the sharks are not there, just give it some time, they will come when they feel comfortable. Yeah. We're leaving the mothership, second day of diving. So we'll be back shortly. It's a beautiful morning.
which is Linda for completing a 100 dives. And as we promise our divers, always a fresh cake. Like a white flower, here we go. popular site, which is okay, it's a big ocean. Back to the moon ship, we're going to have breakfast, a nice little breakfast and some coffee and prepare for our next dive around 10 o'clock. What are we supposed to see on the next dive? Ooh, a little manta ray. Instructor. Ready, <laughs> ladies? Manta, manta. Ready, <laughs> Beaver? Manta, manta. Race. We didn't just see one, we saw about 25 of them. 
so pretty, so many divers. It was beautiful. They got a cleaning station down there, and them guys are just circling all around you. Wingspan, 15 feet. Amazing dive. Spectacular. Thank you, Maldives. No sharks swimming up under the Donnie. That's it. No sharks. After an awesome three days of diving, best way to end it is with a barbecue on the beach, baby. So our crew has made this lovely setup for you beautiful divers to have and experience a nice beautiful barbecue on the beach. And they have spent some time and energy to make this <laughs> lovely manta and the whale shark which we have seen throughout this trip for you guys who are going to accompany you for your dinner. What's on the menu? Ah, uh, menu beef cotta, chicken drumstick, corn and potato, best red snapper, red snapper, beef cotta, then a little bit spicy and sweet, oh. uh, barbecue sauce. Wow, oh, that Enjoy. sounds awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at that fish. We got the flakes, here we got the barbecue grill, here you got the bar. Help yourself with the dinner, yes? yes. Thank you. Thank you. Look at all that hair on that boy. This is, we have a 
beautiful beach party after an amazing day of diving thanks to these guys. Back to the mothership. Too bright. What time is it? It's creeping time. Some people are still sleepy, so yes. we'll start with our basic routine. A little bit of exercise. Okay. So today we are going to do a hip exercise. This side, this side, this side in front and back. This side in front, this side in back, this side in front and back. <laughs> Everyone's getting on the boat. We'll be off the mothership in about two to three minutes. Good morning. Headed out on the Donny to our first dive site of the day. Nice little resort with some over water bungalows straight ahead. Woohoo! Day five on board, Beaver. Are you ready? I'm ready. Well, Let's go see the shark. Let's go see him. They're waiting for us. We called him in. We got a big channel dive here with some currents. We should be able to see some big fishes. Yeah. Are you ready, Steph? visibility a lot better out here. We're a long ways away from Bali right now, so I think the currents is really clearing up the biz down here. Man, oh man, the corals are alive. And the fish, I mean, there are tons and tons and tons of little fish everywhere. They light up the coral, the beauty, the colors are all multicolored, different colors, so it just adds to the vibrant coral. The, uh, the clownfish and the purple anemones are in abundance everywhere and uh, we found two eels a hogsbill turtle pipe fish needle fish trumpet fish yeah the list goes on and on and on now we're going back to eat breakfast and do it again yes Sunset of 2021. Ready to go diving, Deaver? Ready huh? to go diving. Let's do it. Last one for the year. We're doing it. We, I guess we'll do another one in six hours and bring in 2022. That's right. The first last time in the Maldives, first time in the Maldives. It's been a good year. Say bye to the mothership.
Mr. Service. Hot chocolate, cold beer when you get off from a night now. Thank you, Ronnie. Oh, you know, just hanging out with the well, Sean. On the start of the boat. He's up here eating a little plankton. Come on up to the surface. Let's see them pearly whites. Ronnie, did you do all this yourself? <laughs> Look at the fruit bar. Awesome. Yeah, looking forward to this dinner. Wow. Looks like 2022 or the end of 2021 is going to be putting a little extra calories on us. It's like an aquarium dive. By aquarium, I mean the fish life. You got fish everywhere. Has it been a great week of diving? Yes. If no questions, let's get your cameras, everything else ready, and get on the dive dory. Last stop of the day, and this whole dive trip. Sad face. Last stop of the trip. Last stop. <laughs> Amazing trip here in the Maldives. Oh. You've been good to us. Thank you, Lord. What do you think? Maybe the last dive of the trip. Well. Maybe not. We may be diving next week. It's the last dive on the Maldives Aggressive. Well, I think it was a phenomenal place to be. The beauty, the fish, the world.
Uh, we really appreciate your choice that you choose Maldives Aggressor 2 for your uh, vacation. So by the name of all the crew of Maldives Aggressor 2, we would like really to thank you for that. That's it. We are getting off the boat, headed to the airport. Some of the guests are staying on for week two, Phil and his son Philip. And then some of the other travelers are headed down to different resorts and or flying back to their home countries. Uh, some are going back to Russia, some are going back to France, some are going back to Canada. <laughs> and Tanya and I, where are you, where are you headed to? Oh, further well, I'm, south? I'm still, I'm headed further south, continuing in the Maldives. Awesome. Look at the luggage. <laughs> yep, definitely going to be for a second. Bye guys. Bye. Bon voyage. <laughs> Too damn many. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So we just got off the yacht. We're at the airport again. This is the gentleman that's taking us to the domestic flight. It's around 9 o'clock in the morning, and our flight leaves at 1020. Short little commute, about 40 minutes south. Tanya and I will be spending uh, oh, some time down there off gassing and uh, relaxing and enjoying the remainder of this trip looking forward to it oh wow that air conditioning feels good <laughs> oh, i'm so glad we're not going through that international line it was extremely long this domestic's going to be nice passports so we have an hour or so before we take off and fly south so we're going to head up to the uh the lounge and hang out up there for a little while before it's time to board. We'll start boarding in about 40 minutes. I'll be back with the passport. Boarding passes. So flight number Q2270, departure time 1020. Boarding starts at 9.50. No. So once the flight's ready for boarding, I will come and let you guys know. Oh, thank right. you so much. Here you go. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Thank you. landed at the airport here now we're in the golf cart headed to our overwater bungalow you ready deeper yes it is hot we're really feeling the sun rays flat over was beautiful so here's the first look at our resort thank you that's beautiful
Oh, thank you. Hello, how are you? What you got, baby? Uh, I got a star. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Ooh. Cheers. All right, that was quick. We just got checked in at the front office. We got our room assigned to us, and we are back on the golf cart, headed to our over-the-water bungalow for the first reveal. This place is immaculate. And we are walking into our room for the first reveal. You ready, Deaver? Ready. Let's check it out. <laughs> Go ahead. Pretty cool. Very nice. Very nice. Beautiful place. There's the restroom coming through this glass door. What's out there? Oh, we have our bathtub through here. It's outside the shower and the tub. We have That'll a rain head coming down, and then this door will probably lead us. Oh yeah, this will work. <laughs> We're out on an afternoon walk, settling in, and the water is smooth as ice. And there you go. Looks like Miss Deaver's getting her first cocktail of the trip down here at the resort. Garnish with a little orange. The frozen margarita master. Frozen margarita master? Yep. Thanks, Taz. Appreciate it. Look at there, baby. Let me see what you got. I shall indulge. Taz is hooking it up for us. This is a uh, Kadu Island, Southern Atolls. Tanya and I just arrived today. This is the dive resort. We're gonna walk in here and see what the plan is for diving. We wasn't planning on doing a lot of diving this second part of the trip, but Shaker on the aggressor liverboard told us that it is definitely tiger shark season. So if we can convince these people to take us for a tiger shark dive, we may get the equipment wet again. So this is a inside of the dive shop here. We'll hang out. I was instructed to come in and talk to the uh, dive master. I believe that's him behind the, behind the counter there. out to our first dinner on island um, I love the way they got the blue lights all over the docks and the walkway leading up to the bungalows so pretty that's the uh, main restaurant straight in front of us and that's where we're headed we're playing a little neon moon Brooks and Dunn so yeah so beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Good morning. It's Monday and we got up, got ourselves cleaned up, checked out our view from the villa and now we're headed down to breakfast so that we can rejuvenate and get started with our day. The first place I come in here is to talk to the chef and order up oh, some eggs. Nice good morning. <laughs> He's he's taking good care of me, getting plenty of eggs, and then we've got waffles and pancakes. Pancake and waffles. Yeah. Out. We got everything you need in here just to get it started. Look at the pastries, y'all. This is incredible. From the yacht chefs to the chefs and island resorts like this, it's amazing. I gained 10 pounds, 15 pounds every time I go on a two-week trip. There's Tanya. She's over there. I usually got to put a rope around her to drag her out of here. <laughs> then this is hash browns, pork sausage links, there's all kinds of stuff. They have a garden here. Looks like they're growing quite a bit of maybe their spices and vegetables and such. It's bigger than you think it is. I'm showing a little preview and then around this little corner they have another one. So there's two big ones. 
But again, the food here is fabulous. It's really pretty through here. Some people are getting ready to leave island, walking around taking photos. Normally back home, I'm in the gym six days a week, so I sure the hell don't want to see the gym when I'm on vacation. However, if you must work out when you're on vacation, this most certainly is not a bad view. I'll probably bring my fat ass down here in the morning and do a little cardio work. <laughs> yeah, I could probably uh, get used to this view every morning. There's not a lot of equipment. That's all right. I don't need a lot when I'm on vacation. So if you ever see me in the gym, it won't be on vacation. Actually, our second full day on island. We flew in yesterday from Molly. By the time we really got settled in the room and got all our suitcases unpacked and clothes put away and everything, we're probably, I don't know, 2.30, 3 o'clock. Kind of consider this our full, first full day on island. This place is amazing. We got up early this morning, went out for a kind of adventure hike. Haven't gotten the water yet, can't wait. There's sharks swimming around everywhere, little baby. I saw the cutest little black tip want to go. He was literally no longer a nest. I'll show a little clip of the video right now so you don't have to watch me in the shower the whole time. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this place is remarkable. The staff is so friendly. It's like they just bend over backwards for you. Certainly don't want for anything. So yeah, when we get done, Exploring today, went down to the activity center here on Island and uh, decided we're going to take the dolphin excursion out today. When we were up there planning that, and uh, probably was looking at the fall treatment, and one thing or another, the guy come in that was on the uh, yesterday afternoon's dolphin tour, and uh, he said they saw a boatload. The dolphins show up, it's going to be a good night. Looking forward to that. Then we get to come back and have some more amazing cuisine. This place is unreal. The food is off the hook. Tide's up today. We just got through walking to the other end of the resort, down to the fishing pier. And yesterday when we walked this beach, there's another 10 or 12 feet of sand. Now the tide's up, so it's a little, little tighter walking up through here. says he's gonna find them for us. Right, Toby? Dolphins in the house? Come on. Amazing day on island. Now tonight we just cleaned up and we're headed out to dinner. We're going to dinner tonight to a restaurant here and we've heard nothing but good things about the restaurants. We're looking forward to a yeah. good dinner tonight. Just walking down the back part of the island headed down to the Sunset Bar. That's the restaurant we're going to be 
Tanya's on a sprint. I'm trying to catch up. She must be hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Are you hungry, babe? I'm, I'm starving. Don't you love the way it's lit up down through here? The lanterns are really huge. They lit up really bright. So we just got to the restaurant and sit down and this is an appetizer. Tanya ordered the Sicilian rice balls. We got our salads and I ordered the uh, calamari. And everything is presented in a wonderful way. We're waiting on our cocktails to show up before we order our main course. But so far we're off to the start. Well, early in the morning, here comes the Donnie into the dive shop. Maybe they're fixing to load up and head out for playground underneath this beautiful water. Look at that. We slept in a little, and now we're headed over for breakfast. The little golf carts cruising by. He's probably delivering some um, breakfast to someone in the villas. Beautiful day here in the Maldives. We're going to do lots of snorkeling today. We just finished breakfast. We're gonna put our snorkel gear on and head for the wa the calm waters and do some snorkeling again this morning. It's peaceful, quiet. in the room I'm sitting over here staring out down at the water she's like what are you always sitting over there for I'm like, I don't know what she doesn't realize about every 10 minutes naked mermaid swims by good afternoon a beautiful day here on island we are headed to jump on some jet skis see what kind of adventure that we can find around the satoll it's a gorgeous hot afternoon you ready mr deaver let's do it let's tear up some jet skis Woman, time to eat. It's time to eat. Headed that direction. Perfect. Thanks, Federal. <sighs> Humid and hot. <sighs> ah. 
Never thought I'd like German beer that much, but this stuff ain't bad. Next on the cocktail list to taste is a pina colada. Dying to hear the evaluation of this one. Not bad. They passed the bar? Passed the bar. Look at this stuff, guys. And every meal, it's replaced with something different. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, hey. It's bad over. Coming back to Texas. As Tanya and I get ready to depart this beautiful island, we once again have to succumb to more COVID testing in order to prepare for our flight home. No matter how many times I do this, it never gets any easier. Thursday afternoon, we're just doing an afternoon stroll. Gonna go snorkeling again here shortly. Um, taking some photos and again, enjoying and relaxing this beautiful island. We need a coconut drink. Asking you, shall we see? Islanders, they know how to accommodate and provide. They're so kind. It's a little twist and there it goes. That is lovely, thank you. Good morning. Looks like it's going to be another gorgeous day on island, but unfortunately it's checkout day for Tanya and I. As you can see, one of the workers out this morning cleaning up the beach. Words cannot describe the beauty of how much fun Rando and I have had here. This island is amazing. We've had a wonderful time. So pretty. A place we're going to remember and hold deep in our hearts. Can't say enough about the staff, the hospitality at this resort. It was just amazing. They've been over backwards for you. Just about everything you think you need, they've already thought of before. And in. as the sun begins to rise, we are bringing to a close another amazing adventure. We are headed to breakfast and then we will be off for another flight home which we're very sad what do you think about that mr deaver like it sucks i don't want to leave this beautiful place where are you headed now well i think i'm going to get on the hopper and head back to molly molly yes time to leave. to leave this beautiful paradise <laughs> they're coming out pick this up from the golf cart take us back to the little bitty airport they're uh could be tears under these sunglasses we're leaving. <laughs> and just like that, here we are at the airport. <laughs> Maldivian. It's a really great airplane. It is. They've it's been so efficient. Yep. Great airlines. on the kitchen sink now. Here it comes. So we just flew into the Mali Airport and as soon as we got off the plane they were there waiting on us. So the resort has someone over here waiting on us to transport us to our next flight. How awesome is that? 
There's definitely some high rolling dignitaries in here, militaries everywhere. Prime Minister? Yeah. Uh, a minister coming from China. From China, wow. In just a few minutes, uh, Modi's uh, Prime Minister was there. Yeah, I saw a lot of military and yeah. <laughs> dignitary. I could tell something's going on. And your final destination is United States, right? Correct. Beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. So how many hours am I taking from here to home? How many hours flight? It's four hours to Dubai and then 14 to U.S. for us. So we did the diving first and then we went down there to relax. <laughs> <laughs> So we just flew into Dubai. It's almost uh, well, 10 o'clock here. We'll hang out for a few hours before we get on our next flight to Dallas. A lot of people connected. This is a big international hub for this part of the world. Well, unfortunately, we wasn't able to leave the airport and get out and see some of the Dubai Expo. However, yeah, now we're jumping on that big bird and headed back to Dallas. It's been a good trip. Let's yes. do it, Deedee. Yes, Head thank you, Mal. This has been great. <laughs> In the box. Mm. Hard drop. <laughs> Everything is here. It is, ain't it? This is an awesome looking airport. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> In transit from Mali. Oh, from here. Mali. Yeah. yeah. When did you depart from Mali, madam? Yesterday. Almost did not let Tanya and I on the flight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. Expo 2020. We missed it by a year. It is. Good day for flying. Uh -huh. Look at the size of them GE motors. Nice. Massive. Oh, 25 the other side. Yes. Thank you. That side. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Just taking off from Dubai, headed back to Dallas. 15 hour flight in front of us. Climbing at 7,000 feet. Bye, thank you. Bye, thank you. Have a good day. Just like that, seat back on the ground in the U.S. of A. Damn sure ain't in the Maldives anymore. <laughs> what a rude awakening. And just like that, this trip is over. <laughs>